Hey guys, Kyle here. Welcome back to NHL 16 Be a GM Mode with the Detroit Red Wings. We got up to the trade deadline. We're doing all right. We are second in the, the Atlantic, and we are currently sixth in the league. Behind Dallas, Chicago, St. Louis, Toronto, and New Jersey. So, I looked at this. We're still not scoring very much. Especially compared to teams around us, we're very we're pretty good defensively. So I'm not f complaining about that. Our power play has been all right. Our penalty kill has been all right. But I went and instead of making a trade, I didn't see anyone on the block that could really really help us. So what I did instead, we're gonna keep this all the same. This is all fine, fine and dandy. And this is all fine and dandy, and I'm actually really liking this defensive core right now. But I went and I tried to stack the power play as much as I could. I put Zetterberg and Dotsuk back together. Center should be there. And Larkin Radulov, Cronwall Green, as, as well as I put Mantha on the power play. See, I looked at it, and he's actually got a pretty good shot. <laughs> It's relatively accurate, and it's got 92 and 91 power for slap and wrist, respectively. So, penalty kill, helm is up here. I actually wanted to do this. This is how I originally had it, I should say. But now I have it like this. This should be fine. Cronwall and Green. Green's actually got some pretty good defensive stats for, a, for an offensive defenseman. So... We've got Datsuk, Larkin. I didn't change this one, I don't believe. As well as... I did not... I moved Nyquist up here. Four and... Uh, Tatar's still there. The three on three, I moved Nyquist here. I moved Tatar here. Larkin to Kaiser Green. That should be fine. Our extra attackers are still Datsuk and Zetterberg. I changed this up to try and get the most... That I could out of it. Um, the goalies, we still got Ray Emery and Peter Morazic. I'm not changing this at all. We are not making a trade. As much as there's some good players available, we are not in a position to go get picks. Is the big thing. So let's actually finish off the season. You know, we'll go to five games left. The end of uh, the end of March. And we start off with a shootout win against Chicago. That is a nice thing to see. So, 3-1, 3-1, okay. Uh, still some players I want to meet with you. Probably Brad Richards. Oh, no, Ray Emery. Team needs to shake up. Locker room's not in good shape. We know about the problems, but do not be a part of the problems. Be part of the solution. You don't care for that. Okay, good to know. All right, Winnipeg. We lose to them. Okay. Beat the Rangers, please. Okay, cool. We beat the Rangers. And we lose to Toronto. Okay. Philly, Columbus, we beat both of them. All right. Florida, we can... You know what? Fine. We lost to Florida. We've got 43 wins on the season. 44. Five. You know what? I'd say we're looking good. And Dylan Larkin gets injured with a concussion. He's out for a week. You know what? We are able to sacrifice these. So, you know what? Richards, how much is your complaining? Docking your stats? That's not very good. Okay. Okay. You know what? You'll play some games. You'll go back up to your 83. And then we'll call it a day. 5-2 win. That's fine. Uh, scouting assignment. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the WHL. We haven't been there yet. Shootout win. Dylan Larkin's available to play. You know what? No. We're not going to play him yet. We're, we've been on a... Now we're going to play him. Okay. He's fully recovered, though, so that's good. And we are at the point we wanted to be at. So that's good. All right, let's uh, 
Richards, you're still not playing. Larkin, what would you like to talk about? If it's ice time, you don't you don't deserve to be scratched. But we were on a roll. I hope you understand that. You when you're on a roll, you don't change things. So, uh, is there any chance? No, there is not any chance we can miss. So, you know what? We're just gonna finish off the year. We're good. Uh, Grand Rapids has been doing... Eh. I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs. Okay. April 7th. You know what? Assistant coach. Edit lines manually because he's the defenseman. So what I'm actually going to do is... Invalid lines. I'll change it. Loss. Okay. Whatever. We're probably going to have to redo this before playoffs anyway. Uh, who can come up? Um, Let can come up, actually. Alright, edit lines. Detroit, we can have... Let just slide right in here. That should be good for now. Alright, and the AHL... We are just going to have, uh, uh, who can we have slided? Peach. Yeah, we're going to have Peach there. I I'm glad we're playing the best lines we can down there, to be honest. All right, Mike Green's available to play. We are actually going to keep him scratched. I want him to be good to go. I understand you are, uh, you want, okay, that makes me happy to hear. Good for you. Good for you. And I can see the point you're making. All right, let's go back to the NHL so we can actually see what happens in these games. We win to Philly, we win to Boston, and we win to New York. We lose to New York. In the, okay, so that's a pretty sour note to end on, but regular season has ended. Let's slot, uh, let's slot Mike Green right in here again instead of Ouellette. We're going to keep him up here for the playoffs, and that should be fine. Offense, we're looking good. Mantha's up to an 85. Ooh, cool. He's listed as a second line forward. Uh, yeah, we're... You know what? I'll give him a shot up here. Radulov, you're good. You've got, play, you've got power play time. You're good. You're not going to be complaining, right? Right. All right. The NHL regular season has ended. So let's see who we're playing. We're playing the Tampa Bay Lightning. Except this time we have home ice advantage. It should be interesting. So let's actually see who made the playoffs, who didn't, who won trophies, etc., etc. So St. Louis and Chicago, Dallas and Nashville, Anaheim and Edmonton, LA and Winnipeg. So that's an interesting bracket. That's actually kind of close, actually. St. Louis and Chicago. I have a feeling St. Louis is going to win this. Uh, Dallas and Nashville. I got to give it to Dallas still. Anaheim and Edmonton, Anaheim all the way. LA and Winnipeg, Winnipeg's going to lose probably. Toronto and Buffalo, uh Battle of the Tanks. Uh us and Tampa Bay, they have Stamkos this time. It may be a first round exit again. Uh Rangers and Montreal, I'm going to go with the Rangers there and New Jersey and the Islanders. I'm going to go with the Islanders. So, that should be interesting. Let's see. Player stats. As far as our team goes, our top producer was Dotsuk. We saw that already. Nyquist, or Zetterberg, Tatar, Larkin. It, re it starts dropping off then. Like, Mike Green had 21 points as an offensive defenseman. That's all right, maybe. 
I don't care how many points Peter Morazic had. 918 save percentage, 933 for Ray Emery. 202, 245. You know what? We're going to go with it. We're going to go with Morazic, and it should be fun. It should be fine, I should say. Not fun. Ah. All right, so as far as forwards go, who won the Art Ross? All right, so it's a lot easier to get to the entire league from here. All right, so Justin Ablocator, no, not worried about you. Tyler Sagan and Jamie Benn still lighting it up. They're gonna, they're good. Tarasenko, ninety-three gets laugh. Perry Tavares. Dotsuk's up here. Kane, Spezza, Stamkos, Goudreau, Monahan. Okay, so we can see that. Tarasenko had a 50-goal season. So did Sagan. They outdid... Ovi had a 39-goal season. That doesn't sound right, but at the same time, they didn't do very well. Um, We got Patrick Kane up here with 45. And who's leading an assist? Probably... Ben Backstrom gets left. McDavid's up to a 90. Monahan, Thornton, Kucherov, Taves. Where's Crosby? Well, was Crosby out for the year? Yeah, I'm thinking Crosby was out. Yeah, hang on, hang on. I, this, this doesn't make sense. Where was he? He played a full year. He just sucked. Wow. That's 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 different. That, that doesn't make any sense either. Uh, Phil Kessel, but... Yeah, that doesn't make... That doesn't add up. All right. Anyway, defenseman who had the most assists. Carlson. Ekman Larson. Okay, nice change. Ekman Larson had 59 points. Duncan Keith, 57. Morgan Riley, 56. 47 for Ristolainen and Shattenkirk. So Shattenkirk, he's doing well there still. PK, Buffalo, Petrie, or Petrangelo, Petrie, same difference. Uh, Daddy, Brody, Barry. So we had someone up here. Kind of cool. Goals. Who had the most goals of the defenseman? Morgan Riley and assists. We already checked. It was Ekman Larson. Who had the best plus minus? I'm just. I'm really curious now. Chris Russell. Okay. And we should check the goalies too. Before I go away and don't check it, let's check it right now. We're not winning any awards with this with this squad, but goals against someone at a six six uh, a six sixty three. Jesus, you only played two games, and I'm really surprised you managed to get two games in the NHL. Carter Hutton, no, uh, first guy with a lot of. Okay, so Carey Price, two point oh eight nine thirty three. That makes sense. That's good. 66 games played for Crawford, 2.1, 928. Gibson did well. Gibson's in 86. Halak, Lundqvist, Niemi, Ward, Quick, Jones. Jones did pretty well as a 86 overall. I'll give it to him. Okay, 919's not that great. Pavlik had a good year as a backup because I toned him down so much. Because he sucks. He's actually kind of really not good. Schneider did uh, Schneider did well. Lettinen was the backup. Interesting. All right. So that's going to be fun. But we have Tampa Bay in the first round. I'm actually curious. I didn't see Ben Bishop up there. So did he get hurt? We should actually check out their uh, their injuries. But first, we're going to just sim to the game. I'll show you guys the lines. I'm not going to really look at them. Play game. And we have home ice advantage, which is kind of cool, actually. 
All right, so edit lines. Here's ours again. You've seen ours. Here's theirs. This is their offense. This is their defense. And these are their goalies. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're having a fantabulous day. I will see you in the next one.